In northern Michigan, there are many lakes and streams which provide biodiversity and beautiful landscapes. One of those lakes is Long Lake, and it is teeming with life. If we take a look under the water, we see a whole new world of creatures adapted to living in the water. Insects are particularly abundant in these environments. This insect, a flat-headed mayfly, is specially adapted to life underwater. Watch as it quickly moves from an upturned rock in a fast-flowing area. Here it is again in slow motion. These mayflies are experts at grabbing onto things and are often referred to as muscleman mayfly because of their large legs. They are also flat to better streamline their bodies during intense water velocities. Flat-headed mayflies feed on algae that grow on the rocks. They can spend up to two years underwater in their juvenile stage. Finding good feeding grounds is particularly important for them, and they are often defensive of such areas. This mayfly curls its tail, much like a scorpion, to make themselves appear bigger and more threatening. Often, more than one flat-headed mayfly will occupy a given rock, and this behavior is very common. Insects underwater also have to worry about predators and must have some way of evading them, or else they will be eaten. For this mayfly, it is no different. An immature dragonfly waits nearby. A dragonfly's specialty is its sneaky approach, followed by a quick snatch. Dragonflies occupy many different aquatic environments, and they're notorious for being on the top of the insect food chain. This one looks like he's hungry. As the dragonfly approaches, the mayflies stay still. Dragonflies are thought to have excellent vision and can capture prey quickly. One mayfly evades the dragonfly, moving to safe ground. The other one is still in trouble. The mayfly stays totally still and he doesn't seem to be noticed. The dragonfly moves on, preparing a new hiding spot to sneak up on his next victim. This mayfly lives to see another day.